Chicago Marine Aquarium Society. Their show is today. A lot of vendors here, a lot of awesome people to meet. Let's go. I'm going to show you sea bass. Blue line corals. What's up? What's up, guys? Hey guys, so we're here at CMAX checking out Blue Line out of Naperville. They got some really great corals. I understand the measuring tape was brought out. There's like 18 feet of tanks here with coral. Obviously, they are promoting the hobby. They're very vested in the aquarium hobby in Chicago. They're out here showcasing very healthy, good looking corals. They brought the whole crew here to showcase all the different pieces that they have. But we really appreciate when we're in our travels and we're out in different locations, checking out stores that are keeping that white glove treatment. In other words, tanks that are clean, corals that are healthy, showing by good example in their own shop what healthy corals look like. That way you are more apt to perform well if you're learning how to do the hobby as well. So Blue Line in Aprilville, uh, they're also being very helpful in guiding you through the process of starting a new tank. So anybody that's doing that is definitely helping the Chicago Marina Aquarium Society achieve their goal, which is to what? Promote the hobby and have healthy tanks so people don't have a bad experience. It's all very doable. show is complete without harassing Todd Cherry. Let's go do this. All right, these guys are uh, gentlemen for the most part, and they, they give us a lot of good advice, a lot of tips, and so these are the types of people you see in shows like this. So we do this to kind of showcase where to get good knowledge and good expertise. You may pay a premium for coral, but by going to a reliable source, you're getting good stuff that has been well-maintained that is going to survive and last the transport and putting it into your tank. Tanks, guys. The choice. The tank you. <laughs> tank it easy. Get the tank out of my booth. <laughs> hey, tank yourself. <laughs> tank off. Can't take yourself too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Tanks a latte. Rick's Coral. Not only does he bring really good stuff, he's got a really unique booth. It's kind of like an erector set. What's happening, man? Good to see you. Doing good. Yep. You guys are from Ohio, right? Yep, Southern Ohio. Awesome. Well, I see a lot of these spots selling some coral today. Oh, yeah, we've sold some stuff today. You know, made a lot of people happy. Very cool. So, that's the name of the game. Absolutely. My favorite one I brought, uh, the rainbow looking lobo over here is nice. I am a sucker for long tentacle plate corals. Uh, the jelly bean chowster are 700. How long have you had it? That and right there I've had for a year. For a year and it was eight. started out at three eyes and now it's up to six. Awesome. And the green edge on the outside, uh, that's new growth. That's new growth.
Sonny over here focuses on really high-end stuff for you acro guys out there. This is someone at a show you want to come see. How's it going, everybody? I, I try to keep my systems simple, make it easy for everyone, because everyone thinks acros are a little harder to keep. But you know what? The secret is, if you just keep your parameters stable, it's simple, really. I've got a variety of acros here. I keep from the $5 to the $450 frags. I like them all. I'm actually a collector myself, so I hoard everything. When you look at this tank right here, first thing you'll notice is this RW8. I mean, this is pumping flow. Right now, you don't see it because I don't have it on because people are looking at it. But that's the key, even at these shows here. Look at the polyp extensions on some of these acros. You won't get that polyp extension if you don't have flow. Acros just love flow. I mean, that's the... Right. Mushrooms are different, you know, your LPS, they're all different. But acros, with all the polyp extensions you see here, everybody walks by, they always ask, hey, how, do, how come you have all this polyp extension? It's flow. Everyone knows SPS love flow. Every time a customer comes by, they always ask, where do you keep this? What kind of lighting? I got T5s, headlights, LEDs, I've got them all. But a lot of times, certain acros will like a certain lighting. So, you know, I'm willing to share that information. You know, you just have to ask. When you're buying a piece of coral, it's very important to kind of build the relationship with whoever you're talking with because the most experienced person in the room for the coral that you're buying is the person you're buying it from. Generally what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you the expertise of how well the coral you're about to purchase, how it's grown in that home environment. Because that's what it's used to and it's happy enough where it's grown into a piece that is fraggable and then growing out on that piece as well. You're, so you're pay attention. You're absolutely correct, Brian. Yeah. He made notice that we're coming by. <laughs> oh man. Uh-oh. Let me turn it on like a switch, baby. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Get him in focus. Get, get him in, in here. Focus. If you can get focus it, all this energy, get it all in there. you're get only all you're only focusing on the, this presence. There's Bobby, more to it. Where are we today? We're in Villa Park, CMAS, 2000. What year is it? 19. 19. We're here with Kush. Uh, Bobby Moon, it's our Bobby. Kush Corals, baby. Uh, we it's, also got, it's a teamwork that makes the teamwork. We got Jackie work. Blue over here. We got Jackie <laughs> Blue Latest and greatest. That's we got right. The, the, the killer combo <laughs> over here, <laughs> taking the taking the internet by storm. Uh -huh. uh, they got some real juicy corals. They got some juicy outfits. They're looking real good. Uh, we just want to stop by, say, hey, what's up? Thank, thanks for coming out. Got tons of great corals, always selling a bunch of stuff. And look at all the gear. I mean, we're talking about coral dealers, stress puffing. Puffin socks shirts awesome no we appreciate you coming out man For you're sure. always good to us maybe people don't know that my first show he was my first neighbor we ever had first thing he said to me was man i've been nervous for my first show if you got any questions if you got any problems let us know uh i needed duct tape screwdrivers everything that i forgot because i was nervous on my first one nicest guy in the world we love the guys that take it easy they're so awesome they're just like feel like family man every time i see you guys it's like a reunion you know what i'm saying it, hey guys Thanks for watching. That was CMAS, the Chicago Marine Aquarium Society. And everyone you saw here is what collectively makes a CMAS show. So we're in Villa Park wrapping things up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked seeing the coverage that you did. Uh, please leave us any comments or questions. We will respond. And as always, nothing good in an aquarium happens fast. Thanks.